everyone, DigiGex90 here, and welcome to my second Q&A video. Now, before I get to my questions for this Q&A, I want to give a reminder to you that I have done one on my channel before, back at the time when I had 200 plus subscribers. I linked a three-part video in the description below if you're interested to check it out. Anyways, without any further ado, let's get on to the questions. Let's start off with the questions we got from our announcement video on YouTube. The first YouTuber in the list is God of Cat. He or she asked, who are you going to fight next in your duel series? I am going to be honest with you, that's a bit classified because I actually wanted to surprise my audience with who I'm going to fight next. But, as of this video, I think you should see my rematch with Zarvox to find out about my next opponent. The next YouTuber is Tenma the Saiyan. Um, I don't even know how to pronounce that. Anyways, he or she asked the questions for you. If you were to make your own set of God cards, what would they be based off of? My own set of God cards? Mmm... I was thinking maybe like the Roman gods like Mars and Jupiter. Question 2. In your opinion, what is the cutest monster card in Yu-Gi-Oh! and why? If I were to pick one, I would have picked Buster Well because I find the little guy so cute that if I were to have my own dual spirit when I'm using dragon monsters, it would be that little guy. Yeah, I know it's in the Buster Blade archetype, which it isn't really a dragon archetype per se, but I still like the little guy regardless. The next YouTuber is BLL Princess Luna Lyra. Sweet Celestia, what a mouthful. Anyways, he or she asked, what will happen if you meet your favorite protagonist, or any other character, from UGOA, would ask for an autograph and photo, or may fight against him in a duel? I would have liked to duel against him. To be honest, I would find it cool if I were to duel Yusei Futo, J. Nuki, and Yukimoto with my most favorite dragon archetype. The Dragon Rulers. The next YouTuber is Nathaniel Petrillo and he asked five questions to you. The first question is when did you first get into Yu-Gi-Oh or Bakugan? Actually, I can answer both. For Yu-Gi-Oh, I remember getting into it as a kid, but at the time, I wasn't the biggest fan. I only remember watching a little bit of the original series and watched some episodes of 5Ds. And yeah, I actually did own some cards from my cousin, but to be honest, I never dueled anyone with them. Now, when 5D stopped airing, I actually stopped getting into Yu-Gi-Oh for many years because I actually thought the franchise died from there, but I'm actually glad I was wrong. I've only heard a little bit of Saxel and a little bit of Arc 5 from Chad when he mentioned the main characters to me, but not much really came from that. It wasn't until 2017 that I managed to get back into Yu-Gi-Oh! because of these factors. Yuki Brony, Jordan Lego Comics, and the Yu-Gi-Oh! anime. Mostly, it was Yuki Brony after watching his dual series for a while. Ever since then, for about a year, i actually been playing the TCG VIA Dueling Nexus and Dueling Book. And I have been watching more of the anime. As of this video, I'm currently watching through GX. For Bakugan, I first remembered the very first episode that just popped up right after the Pokemon movie The Rise of Darkrai was just finished airing. I quickly dismissed it at first as some card game like Yu-Gi-Oh and stuff, but I did give the series a chance sometime afterwards, and since then, I became a fan of the series. I do remember watching the original series' first season, New Destroya, and Kandelion Invaders, but to be honest, I barely even remember Makatanium Surge. I had the tabletop game, and to this day, I still do. I even own the first game of the franchise for the PlayStation 2. But I am going to be honest, I stopped getting into Bakugan around 2012, the same year that I became a brony, because I never really heard of anything Bakugan related for quite a long while. It just died for a long time, but 
I'm actually glad the franchise got rebooted in the December of 2018. For my opinion on Battle Planet, I've only seen one episode so far, and I think it's decent, but there is a side of me who likes the original series more. But I am willing to watch more of Battle Planet later on, and give the series its own review. Question 2, have you seen, wait, what? Honest Hoggo Gresco? It's a Gretzko, Zarmox. And yes, I have seen the anime before. And, to be honest, I really love it. To me, it was like a breath of fresh air because I never really see a whole ton of animes where the entire cast of characters are anthropomorphic characters. Now, don't get me wrong, I have nothing against animes with human characters as its cast. But, it would be nice if we can get more anthro animes nowadays. My favorite characters of this anime have to be Retsuko the main character, Haida the hyena, Fenico, and Mr. Tone the boss pig. About Retsuko, I like her because many people who have an office job or some similar workspaces and different jobs can actually relate to all of the misery that she had to put up with while attending this job. Plus, I actually do find her as a cute red panda. About Haida, I actually like him because, to be honest, I can actually relate with him when it comes to wanting to get along with a certain someone that you like so much. For Fenico, I actually like her because I really like her personality and her weird way of laughing. Did you have a baby yesterday morning? Huh? I heard the delivery was a tough one! Of course <laughs> it's not funny, Benico! Sorry. No can do. God, you're such a troll! About Mr. Tone. At first, I didn't really like him for being one of those stereotypical drill sergeant-like office bosses. But later on, I've gotten to like him as one of those likable jerk characters when I got used to his personality and why I actually got to see some character development from him. So yeah, I have seen a Gretzko, and it became one of my favorite animes besides from Yu-Gi-Oh, Digimon, etc. Question 3. What's your favorite catchy song you like to listen to? I really don't have a the definitive answer for that because there is so many catchy songs I like over the years. But if I was forced to pick one, uh, I'll guess I'll go for In the, the Dark of the Night. Why? Because it's a really catchy song. You should really check it out. Question 4. Have you ever considered playing me card before? I actually remember you were talking to me about that in my Discord server, and to be honest, I was considering it at one point, but the game itself, from what I saw, is just not really my cup of tea. So, I'm not really planning to play that game anytime soon. And last question, when are you going to continue your Bakugan series? Uh, I hate when you ask me this question. But, you know what? Fine. I will answer it here. It will be sometime either in the summer or sometime in the fall. Because my next opponent, Mirror Marvel, was having computer problems before. But as of this video, she actually has a new computer. And at one point, I was asking her about when we can actually work on the script and stuff. But she said something about doing some college stuff. So I actually asked her if she wants to do it during the summer. And she actually accepted it. So, that's where I will continue the series. The next Yaloper is Nelson Demeter, and he asked five questions to you. Question 1, not sure if you answered this, but why are you an Ursa Major with a Unicorn Horn? Me turning to an Ursa Minor Corn happened in the first season of Yu-Gi-Oh! Duels of the Cyber Realm, where Dark Critic turned me into this thing as some parting gift. I would recommend checking out the first season of the series if you're curious about it. Okay, out of character here, the reason is is because I actually wanted to change my Pony Sauna's design for a while. Originally, I was going to have my Pony Sauna turn into a bear pony hybrid, 
and I went with that idea for a while, but I actually decided to go with what my friend Zeladin suggested, which is me being on Arsene Miner. Why there's a horn on him though? It's because I actually wanted him to still be capable of using magic. So, I really hope that answers your question, Nielsen. Question 2. Have you played any other cards games beside from Yu-Gi-Oh? Simple answer. Uno and Go Fish. Question 3. What's one person you wish could have best start in the last season of MLP thing, if they are not scheduled to be there? To be honest, I would have loved Arnold Schwarzenegger the guest star as an MLP character, because I would have loved to hear his corny but charming voice acting on an MLP character for some corny but funny jokes and some really good action. Question 4. Does your OC have any pets? Simple answer, no. And his last question, anything you're curious to ask me? Eh, not really. <laughs>